State your name for the record. My name is Paul. How you guys doing? It's the Saigon Saga. Subscribe right Hi. now. Welcome to my gym soon. My came off. My butt got exposed. I was a fishmonger, so she turned out to be married. So how long have you been in Saigon? Sure, I've been in Saigon. It's been going on nine years. September, some September 2015. Yeah, I came to Saigon. Um, man, it was a journey to come over here, but uh, I made a decision back in 2014. I was living in New York City, and uh, I just wanted to. I've been living in New York City for six years. I'm originally from Los Angeles, uh, and um, I just wanted to get out. I I lived in New York City. I wanted to get out because I felt like I kind of uh, accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish. So I was like, all right, I need to go somewhere. One of my buddies, he traveled a lot and he was like, hey, yeah, you should go to Thailand or you know, Vietnam. You know, you, you'd like that kind of place. I said, why? He goes, oh, because I know you. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but uh, I was like, all right. So uh, I decided, all right, I'm going to go to Thailand or Vietnam. And then um, I went home for Christmas and I was watching Anthony Bourdain. You guys know Anthony Bourdain? Yeah, right? of course. Love that dude. Loved that dude. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I went. To, uh, I saw one of his episodes. It was about Vietnam, and after that episode, I was like, oh, "Okay, I know exactly where I want to live." So uh, saved up some money, got a flight, and just came out here. Was it like, it, like a, uh, a leap of courage? Was it? Were you a little nervous about coming over here? Or like, whoa! I wasn't. Actually, I wasn't that nervous. I was a bit, but because I was more nervous moving from Los Angeles to New York. That's when I was super nervous. Oh, really? Yeah, but when I moved out, out here, I wasn't really nervous. Uh, so I just, I, I mean, I was a bit culture shocked, a bit, but it's very similar to Mexico here, just with more motorbikes here. Yeah. So I was just like, ah, whatever, it's all good. But yeah. Yeah, compared to New York, the pace is low here. That's what oh, I love, man. The yeah, Catholic New York. Culture. You, you, you guys, any of you guys been to New York? I've been to yeah, New York once, and that was enough for me. No, it's just fast, man. Everyone is like moving fast. Oh, dude, Even I'm, I have nothing to do all day. I'm just like walking around doing tourist shit. But you feel like you have to walk fast, like you're getting the energy, and then it's just like, what am I doing? Why am I here? Yeah, for sure. New York can be like that. I lived in Brooklyn, so it was more chill. Uh, I man, I love New York, man. That's where that's where I started training jujitsu. Um, I had been, I had been in New York for about a year and it was tough, man. Like the first year in New York, I was like not eating right, not eating healthy, drinking. And I, dude, I was about 235 pounds. What? Yes, bro. Or like 106 kilos. Yeah. That's wow. big, man. Dude, I was huge, bro. Dude, I was huge. Well, well, but the thing is, I had, it was a, a period like in my early twenties where I was just like drinking a lot not doing shit like in high school sorry can i curse here yeah yeah in high school i, I played sports and stuff i uh, i played american football i did track i did the uh, hurdles and shit so uh so then like after i graduated high school went to college i kind of just like let myself go completely and i was like oh this is me man i was so big and then i just decided i walked by i was walking home one day from work and i saw a sign that said you know henzo gracie you know jujitsu and i was like i've heard of gracie name before so I walked into the gym and the guy said, yeah, yeah, come back at 7.30 p.m. I was like, okay, cool. So I go home. I was like, let me eat something. I ate something. I went back. I'm all here. And he was like, oh, hey. And he gave me these fucking pajamas, bro. Jesus Christ. I just threw them on the big old white gi. And then started doing the warm-ups. Uh, didn't know how to shrimp. Didn't know how to do anything. By the end of the warm-ups, I wanted to throw up. I was like, what the fuck? So did the class. I'm getting tore up left and right. Somebody's arm barring me. Ugh. At the end of the class, I'm on the floor dead. Like <gasps> couldn't even breathe, dude. Couldn't even breathe. The professor walks over me and he's like, oh, so what do you think? And I'm like, dude, I need to sign up because I feel like shit right now. And then that's how I signed up. Uh, first, it was September 1st, 2010. I think that's a, the way a lot of people feel their first class. Even if you're in shape, like you go there and then after it's like, you're trying to learn to swim. Yeah. Essentially. The movements, man. The movements. So what was your, how was your first experience? Uh, I was in living in China and one of the guys who was working at my school an Egyptian Canadian guy, he kind of convinced me to, to come out and train jujitsu. Oh, so okay. I can, after playing like college athletics and stuff, I wanted to get in some kind of martial art or I like the idea of it, but it's kind of hard to, to pull the trigger. 
and uh, you know, go into the gym for the first time is a bit intimidating. So for sure, especially if you're 106 kilos or 235 <laughs> pounds, dude. That was not a good look for me. Yeah, not healthy. Yeah. So the first time I I did jiu jitsu was actually in Hanoi with Mr. Ba oh, at Mr. Ba. at uh, Dragon MMA, and this was in early 2018. Mm. And um, there was I had some friends from Virginia living in Hanoi. And they brought this guy who was an actual black belt, like a third degree. He was really good. His name was uh, Jake. Sorry. And, uh, Jake. Good. His name was Jake. And uh, it was all gi. And it was um, Mr. Ba just opened the Dragon MMA at MMA. that location. And, uh, and yeah, I probably did like eight or 10 classes uh, with them. And it was pretty much all white belts, but they had one like blue or purple belt they came over from Ronan. I forget that guy's name, but, uh, yeah, I just started, I have the, I have the picture with Mr. Ba. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. And, uh, but it, I just remember, I mean, I was, I'm very, uh, I'm very lucky because I wrestled before. Yeah. So it was, it was a, uh, an ease, an e relatively easier transition. Yeah. For dude, me, but because wrestlers, man, you guys are fucking it's the only thing that all carry over. Cause even if you do striking or something and then no, get into grappling, yeah, dude, nothing else translates. If you've never, if you're a wrestler, in my opinion, if you're a wrestler and you come into jujitsu, you're automatically a blue belt. <laughs> yeah. Cause I've seen wrestlers just come into jujitsu and just fucking smash like you're doing. Like, yeah, I've seen wrestlers do that. And I'm just like, you're not a white belt. Dude. Take that shit off. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, there are things that wrestlers have to, Oh no! To understand, like the first, like I would always, if I'm on my back, I'd immediately get to go to turtle, right, and get my back taken, which is the worst position. So, so I learned that, and then just slowing down. Yeah, you yeah, know, just slowing down today. and being efficient. But yeah, I mean, yeah, these are things you start to well, figure out after a couple of years. Like today could have been the day that you started to slow down, started to use. I was telling him today when we were rolling. Oh, I'm telling him every day, man. <sighs> To know was I going too fast today, though? No, I'm saying you should like smash, use your pressure, bro. You're, yeah, you could be very, very. I need to do, I need to work it on not backing out. Yeah, you back out a lot. Let's yeah, go. get into it, bro. So, this gym, uh, Dragon MMA in Hanoi, is that still there? No, no, he moved it here, and that's now the only Dragon location. So, yeah, I think so. That's the what only is Dragon, the, right? What is the gym, uh? There's another gym I see on Instagram sometimes. It has oh, that's the, the, probably the one in Hanoi, V M M A F, and that's where they. It's kind oh, of yeah. like a similar compound. As it's a similar compound here? To here because they also have the Lion Championship there and everything. Yeah. It's very similar. It's it's uh, and yeah, it's in like Taiho in Hanoi. I've been there a few times, oh, and that's okay. where they do like the weigh-ins. Uh, at Over Under, they have the new mat covering. Was that rolled out for the first day today? Oh yeah, but it wasn't done. It was very slippery today. It was very slippery today, yeah. so hopefully that's gonna get taken care of. But <clears throat> but today, what was, can you uh, do about it? Really, I, I don't know. I think uh, they were talking about it. I don't know anything about mats, bro. I just like to row. What do they have at Jozu? They're actually the same mats, but I think it's a little cooler at Jozu, and it's not as densely populated. If that makes sense. But the material is the same. It's the same, and it's they've done. They did a really good job at Jozu. That's super tight. And, yeah, they just gotta. I think they, that's what they gotta do. They gotta, they're gonna tighten it up. So, but, but like, dude, and plus it's super hot the noon class. So, like, <laughs> the noon class, how go. many gallons of sweat was was on top of dude, the mass? It, but there's a lot of there was how many guys were there today? Like 20, 25. There's a lot of guys there Bro, today, man. Dude, that noon class at OU, there is no class. There's no class. I don't know. There's no class down here in Saigon that is that tough like that. Yeah, at, for that sure. Time. With the dudes at the high level that that's there, that's, yeah, it's that a tough is room. class. That is, a, yeah, and then Deagle you go there, and then, and then yeah, Deagle, and then if you have like uh, Vince show up, so like it's Raphael and Raf Jovi, Raphael, Jovi, Paul Drew. showing up. Yeah, I showed well, up today. Danger. No, but uh, yeah. Oh, Mark, yeah, dude, your brother is a beast. Yeah, your brother is a beast. Yeah, we totally sure. learns jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who wins between you and him? Uh, Taps you out. He taps me out. No, no, no. I think I think Adam's nah, got him. Yeah, Adam's you got, got him. him. I mean, Mark's just taking had, some time off, but Mark is still tough. Yeah, Mark is tough. He's strong. He's so strong, man. 
I, I, we were training the other day on Saturday. I felt bad. I picked him and kind of dropped him on his back. And just, uh, ah, yeah. And he was like, like, he, he, he hit his rib, and I was like, oh, fuck. I felt really yeah. bad. But he had an injury. Yeah. That's, and it's I like, fucking slammed him on accident, though. It's slippery, bro. <laughs> yeah. So there's your answer. Who's better? One of us is not complaining about shit like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a beast. Dude, when I, we rolled on Saturday, right? Yeah. yeah. I was like, geez, dude, you guys are getting good, man. man no. You guys are getting good. Um, shit, and you're leaving. I hope you don't train. Yeah. What, you, what you doing this summer, Zach? Zach is actually going to be busy. Da uh, what are you doing? Uh, dojo dating? I don't do dojo dating, <laughs> dude. I do not. That, that, you can do that, dojo dating? That is, I've never dojo dated. That is dangerous, bro. Of course. Dude, I'm so I knew a guy. And I don't know him anymore. Can you share the story? <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, no it's all right. Tuesday. It's nothing that crazy, actually. But it's just drama. Um, he was just dating a girl at the gym. Uh, and his girlfriend found out. The girlfriend came. Well, nothing big. Just broke up with him. So, so what big. happened? It's, it's just... It's just very dangerous. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. There's enough politics <laughs> and complexity in jujitsu as it is, and oh. then you add dojo dating to it. It's an absolute disaster. Because think about it: like, how long is this relationship going to last? Yeah, and if it doesn't last for the rest of your life, then it's going to be awkward mm -hmm. for a lot of people. And someone's not going to come train anymore. Yeah, someone's not going to train anymore. <laughs> but it's like it. you know, like you know, Craig Jones's policy at B Team on dojo dating. Right? No, what did he say? He's like, okay, uh, if you sleep with, with a girl at the gym and uh, they leave, you have to pay for their gym memberships monthly. And he, and he says, ask yourself, before you're tempted to sleep with someone else at the gym, can you afford this? <laughs> you That's a good policy, dude. It's That's a great, a great policy. policy. And, Man, it's pretty expensive at B team. So, dude, dude how much? Be, how much is it? Do you know? Three fifty a month. Whoa. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, bro, those are like dude, come out here. The same. Can, as, the, the same yeah. as uh, SSE. <laughs> really? Seriously, I, SSE was the very first place I went to, oh, and I no. went there, and it, they, then I had to pay like I, paid, I had to pay like four hundred k just for the for like a drop in for the first time, and then they then they told me the prices afterwards. There's only there was no one in the class and no, no one in the gym, and they're like there was like eight Whoa. million a month or something. I'm like, what? I'm like, also, I was like, well, wait a second, you have no talent here, and they're like, yeah, but look how big our gym is, and I was like, there's nobody here, and I'm thinking this is B team prices, dude. But that so, gym looks really nice now. Back in the day, it was it was cool, but now it's really nice. But yeah, I wouldn't pay that money. Yeah, you gotta go to those gyms that are really taking care of uh, their athletes, like. Corey's men over under they just put in a slip and slide nowhere else has that <laughs> that's true <laughs> no nah, no one else has but just because like people are just rolling constantly yeah it's bro, like 20, yeah, it's hot so many it's, people it's, bro the roof man because it's on the top floor I, there's no insulation back in uh in new york when i used to train at uh hansel gracie fight academy that's where Corey used to train there too the thing is we we trained together for like a few months we didn't even know we didn't even know each other but we you, saw but each, other each other here. Yeah, we met here. Corey and I met here. But that gym was like in a, it's in an old building, like an old, probably like an old brewery, factory building, bricks. Um, and, uh, but dude, it gets hot. And they used to get hot in there, man. They had AC too. Sometimes they would just lift up the, the door in the back and just, it, but it was just sweating in there, just like today. But did you, but like, did you, <clears throat> what's Hinter like? Did you get did you get to work oh, with him much? Uh, well, he's in the, in the the headquarters in Manhattan. But yeah, he I met I've met him a few times. I have a picture with him. He's he's cool. He's a really funny guy. Uh, but don't want to get on his bad side. He will, he's fucked people up <laughs> bad. There's stories. There's stories. You search the internet. There's videos too. He knocked knocked out a couple of dudes in New York who tried to like mess with them. Just he's like, all right. He used to do uh, bare knuckle boxing or bare, yeah, bare knuckle boxing. He used to do that shit back in the day. That guy's insane, but really nice and sweet guy. Um, but yeah, we used to train at Corey and I used to train there, and we didn't even know each other. We we ran into each other here at Saigon uh, Jiu Jitsu, 
And he was like, hey, do you know so-and-so? And I'm like, yeah, how do you know? And he goes, oh, I used to train. And I was like, what? And I went back to look at pictures on Facebook. And there's Corey and I. You can't even tell us. Like, tell how, how because I had a beard and I was, like, a little bigger. And Corey looks Russian. He just looks like, oh, like that. And he's like, you can't even tell it's us. Yeah, we're com- we look completely different. Lots, lots thinner. And we're dads now. Yeah, man. Wow. But yeah, but man, I was, I was so happy that Corey was here, that Corey made the move out here and that we ran into each other. Um, that guy is, like I said, like I told you guys, or I told you at lunch today, he's uh, John Danaher of Vietnam, dude. That guy's a genius. That guy's a genius. And then when you, when you have uh, Vince and him talking, like I'm like, dude, speak fucking English. What are you guys talking about? Nerds? Like, I don't like, dude, just, I'm like, I don't know what you guys are saying. Can you? I gotta always ask them, like, what are you guys talking about? Even though I know the stuff, I don't know how to break it down like them, you know? But yeah. Yeah. It's like Vince always, Vince and Corey, they yeah. always know like every move and what you should do. And I was so impressed. Usually, usually when I when I'm in a match, I don't really want anyone saying anything except mm. for like the score and time. That's oh, Vince it. cornered you. Huh? Vince cornered you, right? He did. He, he did. Like, so there's a few times. When I was like in a position and I and I didn't know what to do, which is pretty much every position. He does. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I was like, I would get to a point, I would stop, and like they have my legs tangled up, and I'm like, I'm just literally, Vince. All right, Vince, what, what are we doing? Vince. What, what, what are we doing here? And he, very clear, concise advice. He'll do that. Yeah. And the, where you can hear it and and take action during the match. And uh, I've never, I've never. I mean, and Rob, and Rob is very good too. Nice. Him and Rob were excellent. I was in AJ AJP last year, March uh, in Bangkok last March, and um, Vince cornered me. It was the funniest shit ever. So we're rolling, and then Vince starts cross face that motherfucker, and he's like cursing on top of his fucking lungs and blah, 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 right. And I end up winning the match. And then I'm like, ah, oh, thanks. And then the one of the promoters of the sh- of the AJP or something, he goes, "Sir, you cannot curse. We're going live streaming." He goes, "Oh, I'm sorry." And then he walks over to the guy that I beat, and he goes, "Hey, bro, I didn't mean any of that." He was like, "Cross his fucking face, rip it." He was like, just going hard. But yeah, that was funny, man. But yeah, having Vince in my corner, that guy knows exactly what to say. Yeah, Vince has got a mean cross face too. Like, oh, yeah. you get caught inside control with him. It's not a nice place to be. <clears throat> I stay away from Vince. This is a time I just didn't want to roll with him. I would keep my knees. But I see he has a bad knee, so so do I. So I'm like, all right, let's roll. Here yeah, he, I mean, he's always so willing to give you instruction. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and Saturday, he helped me out a lot. He goes, oh, you, you trapped yourself. And I'm like, yeah, what happened? Because I had him in a honey hole, and I couldn't finish it. And then he ended up, he caught me. And then he ended up telling me, this is what you need to do. And I was like, ah, thank you, Vince. I'm still learning the leg game, too. Like, you know, I know you're trying to learn right now, right? I I sent you that video. Yeah, man. You get watch that video. I'll send you more. That helped me out because I'm, like, learning the leg game. As you see, I've been attacking your legs when we're rolling. Because you're, dude, I can't get you, uh, can't get you, can't get close, bro. You can't get close to me. To what? To I don't want you to get close to me because you're so mean? strong, bro. And no, like you're gonna, I don't want you to no. smash me like you did. I really a just, weeks ago. Honestly, I just want to do stuff I'm not good at. Yeah, I, I want to do the legs. I want. I want to like learn passing. I want to stay uncomfortable. I don't care if I get tapped. You know, like whatever. Like, you know, I, I really just want to learn legs. I'm. I'm very. I'm so frustrated that that I get in these positions and, and you don't know what to do and I don't know what to do. And, it, and it's really frustrating. And there's only one way. To, yeah, yeah, there's sure. only one way to, to get past it. And you have to, and it's discomfort and frustration and just plowing through, man. Yeah. Fuck it. And you know, like Adam said, you are in the right place, bro. Yeah. You got Corey, Rob, Vince. Yeah. And you yeah. know, Drew, right? Oh, He'll snatch up your leg, bro. Dude, he got me two times the other night. <laughs> yeah. He got bro. me twice the other night. Dude, either he's snatching your leg or he's snatching that neck. He he got me with a Kimura. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, dude. No, he. I've seen him just. He he grabbed man. He had me. He like chin strapped me. And I was like this motherfucker. And yeah. Like Marcelo Garcia. He's like so unassuming. Yeah. He's just like, what's up, guys? I'll choke you the fuck out. Any of you. Yeah. <laughs> One after the other. 
<laughs> so so what are some of the you've you've been here a long time like nine years in saigon so we can we, we're going to play a little game right oh, so we're gonna do this the sentence right this and uh, so this games. is uh so we're gonna the, the sentence is this might get me in trouble but right and i can start bro you're gonna kill me here. okay all right yeah yeah I'll, I'll do the first one this might be get, get me in trouble but the gi is destroying jujitsu Right, it is destroying. Tell us something you, really you haven't said it. before. Yeah, really, tell us something, something we don't you. know, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah, I haven't even been able to explain this. Okay, go. Okay, you go. I listen okay. to this every week, man. I want to hear. I want to hear. Okay, we've never said it on the podcast. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, but, but now <laughs> okay. Every week, this is all we talk okay, about. Okay, go ahead, Adam. Go ahead. All right, you're up. <laughs> Wait, it's like, go ahead, Adam. No, right, exactly. Already, you've already up. killed it. This might get me in trouble. But finish the sentence. Uh, I'm not allowed um, to say what I just said. So no, no, say all say of it. what I'm I was going to say. say what is all right? So why is it killing? I want to know no. why is it killing? Why because, is it killing? Because jujitsu uh, art is already complicated with politics and and uh, you know grudges between gyms, and now you add the gi, and and then now you have now you add the gi. I think it started with the gi. The other stuff came after. I know, but this is a joke. You see what I'm saying? Oh, oh, okay. This is supposed, like, this is. I'm not trying to convince okay, you. Okay, a joke. All right, I'm, I'm not trying to convince anyone to agree with me. No, no, no. You know I, what I mean, but I, I, I want to agree like, with you a little bit. But, but it's, but, but it's, it's like I'm half joking, and I'm not trying to convince anyone to agree with me. It's like, but it is like, well, it is kind of funny. Like, oh yeah, he got his purple belt from that guy across the gym across the street and, and like well he got his third strike from well, from another gym you know? so and and it's just like i see what you mean and people people are so um when you're wearing the gi you go to a gi class people are so um they feel obligated to honor traditions and it's so serious you know it's so serious and and then you get to like Corey's class and it's that like is. so chill yeah that's true it's so that's chill. true that's true okay well, people are like that but i think that comes down to more no. like the instructor and the the class culture they're building than actually the sport right there you, you said see it. this in every like he every sport it. has this thing. class culture you have to build a class class culture and like it starts culture. with shitty mats a hot sweaty room <laughs> and like just and getting uh, smashed yeah like and, and then if you coach. put up with those three things you'll keep coming back and you will improve yeah but yeah, I don't really like training with the gi as much anymore. Yeah, it's just hard here in Saigon. Oh, it's hot. Even even like it at uh like if it's air conditioned, it's still you leave practice soaking wet and cold. Yeah, it's air conditioned. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, don't be this guy at the gym. Don't be the smelly guy. Shit, am I the smelly guy? Um, yeah, don't be the smelly guy, man. Um, especially if you're wearing a gi. Maybe this is your why you don't like gi. Because yeah, motherfuckers, motherfuckers don't wash their gis. Yeah. But man. yeah, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of gi, wash your gi, man. You should have at least at least four to five gis. So you don't four to five gis. Bro, I used to have seven gis back in New what? York. Yeah, man. I used to have a lot of seven gis here. I had seven geese, left them in New York, came over here and just got more geese. Now I have like two because I don't use it. Got my Wu-Tang gi and I got my traveling gi. But yeah, don't be that guy. Take a shower. Hygiene, man. Hygiene is very important. So yeah, don't yeah, be that hygiene fucking sure. stinky you ass not, dude. You should not only wash your gi, but you should wash your body too. Oh, when no, of course. Gi, you know what I mean? Definitely. Like, Depends. Well, I I usually don't because I'm coming from work. I used to come straight from work to go coach, but you should if you have the chance. Yeah, I rinse my my face and st I wash before and after practice. <laughs> yeah, he's I, clean. I mean, I probably walk, like five showers a day. I probably shower more than you. I know. <laughs> yeah, I've been you know taking what? an insane amount of showers here, dude. I'll I go know. outside for like a walk or something. Walk the dog, come back in. It's just I've like... taken two showers since practice already. <laughs> yeah, dude. It is fucking hot, dude. dude. Especially in Vietnam. You just take a shower, 
and you're fucking yeah. sweating again. That's the problem at Corey's, man. Is that if you shower too soon, then you get out of there and it's like, you wait I've again. taken five showers wait. already today. I just Jesus Christ, Christ, bro. And it's this fool, fool. This fool loves showers. I just like to be clean, man. I'm sorry. No, no, you're right. You're right. Like you're right. Why do you yeah. love wasting cur- water? As a courtesy to your training partner. wasting water. As a courtesy to your training partner. How about you be courteous to the fish and leave them something? <laughs> food. The fish? What are you yeah, save about? the water for Where the fish, Where do you think bro? the fish lives, Zach? <laughs> In the showers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You might be a fake black belt if... You might be a fake black belt if... You don't know how to fucking pass guard. <laughs> you got two belts left, Zach. You better figure it out. Dude, a purple belt for the next 10 years, bro. <laughs> purple belt for the next no, 10 bro, years. No, bro, I think if you continue doing what you're doing, you'll be a purple belt very... I mean, you'll be a brown belt, I don't know, a year and a half. I don't, I don't but I'm saying you just got to... You, I, I just, you learn how to pass guard, right? You're trying to pass guard. You're trying to do things that you're not good at, right? If you have that mentality... Yeah. You're gonna get it, bro. Dude, I don't want it, honestly. I just you don't want well. Oh, you don't want the brown? No, that's right. not what your goal is. Your goal is to get better, I just right? Want to get better. I don't okay, care. Okay, so as you get all. better, somebody's gonna but be what, like, but he's we've met, good. We've all met these fake black belts, you know, around the world, you know. Yeah. And, but I was yeah, I met some fake black belts. Yeah, and they're if they can't teach a basic sweep, if they can't teach just anything basic. If, yeah. If they can't do anything basic, then I'm just like, ah, you're out. And then I just roll with them and just smash them. <laughs> yeah. How often don't, are you, you running don't... into these guys? <laughs> Every other day, bro. No, just kidding. No. <laughs> I mean, you don't want no, to. No, not what... here. I I haven't. Here? Here you, you run into like a Vietnamese white belt who's been training for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that definitely happened. You're like, what the fuck? You're a white belt? Yeah, yeah. I started in 2015. And you're like, what yeah, the fuck, dude? All so, right. Oh, did you take like nine years off? No, no. I'm just training the whole time. Yeah, yeah, there's some beast out here. I used to, th- I used to think like when I first started jiu-jitsu, I was like, oh yeah, uh, I want to see this, how fast I can get the black belt. Now I think the absolute opposite, you know, because you don't want to be a black belt getting tapped by a blue belt. Uh, it happens. It yeah, happens but, rarely. Yeah, I mean, consistent, consistently. Well, damn, who's yeah. doing? Who's who's what black belt is this? There's a black belt here getting tapped Not all the time here. by a blue belt? Oh. Yeah, in Colombia. Uh, there's oh, wow, oh, bro, yeah. They do that there, over there. There. Was like, there were like five or six black belts that got tapped by a blue belt. That must have been one badass blue belt or <laughs> really shitty five black belts. So We're all fake five black belts? You know, I don't know if they're all fake, but... Are you saying in Colombia there's nothing but fake black belts? No, I'm definitely not saying that. Whoa, that's dead. I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely not said saying that. that. I'm definitely not that saying that. That is controversial. I'm definitely not saying that. Breaking news. No, there's a guy. Zach, this show. might be controversial, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, there's a there's a, a black belt by black belt. The guy who, you know, awarded me my purple belt. Mm. His name's G Joe. What a name, dude! It, it, it was it was spelled Y Y I Y O. There's no G in that fucking dude, name. I'm telling you, <laughs> dude, I know it's not, dude. Dude, you don't you don't know how why, bad this why? dude. You don't know how bad this dude is. Wait, I, this dude gave you your purple belt? Yeah. This dude was, dude, okay. dude, I, I probably several hours combined uh, rolling with him. Several hours, right? Pro, I probably did probably 50 to 60 rounds with this guy. I'd never even scored on this dude, mate. Oh, really? This dude wiped the floor with me, man. See, he was 30 years old. Oh, I thought he said he was a fake black belt. No. No, he's a no, real no, black no, he belt. He was really good. Okay. Uh, there's a few. There's a few black belts that. We'd get tapped by a blue belt during those days, and Dude. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. People just want to get promoted as fast as possible. Oh, yeah. Dude, why you want to get promoted as fast as pop? Dude, why? Do you, well, you want to get promoted so you get tapped by blue belts? Dude, come yeah, on. Yeah, because if you get promoted too fast and you don't have the skill with it, and you, people are gonna be like, "This was a chump." Yeah, the skills like what? Yeah, no. But but G Joe, shout out to G Joe. Um, G Joe. Dude, he got to the he got to the adult black belt semifinals at IBJJF. That's pretty oh, good. Really? Oh damn! I think that's pretty good. No, it is. He had a match with Souza, but he but he didn't win against Souza. But um, dude, there's some black belts. And, that... and, but we only did only did no gi with him. I mean, he, he I mean some gi, but uh, and he will tell you, oh yeah, I'm not good at no gi. He, he would destroy me. Like, dude, there was a there's some black belts that. 
come by. There's a lot of black belts coming to OU lately, like travelers just like stopping by. And this one German dude came through and he was just smashing everybody, including me. I was like, damn, bro, you're good. And then he just left. <laughs> Never see him again. My boy EA got me to drinking soda water. I'd go to this cat's. Um, he had so EA is another. I trained with him a few. You trained, you know yeah. EA, yeah. yeah. So um, back in the day, <clears throat> he had a um, his apartment. He had his living room just just mats. It was mats and a, and a TV, like on the wall like that. And then we would just roll it. He he was like, oh, I want to learn gi, and I was like, all right, I'll teach you gi. And we'd go to his house, and uh, we'd blaze it a bit. And then we just do gi, man, for like two hours. Oh, man. Um, we did that for like you know, twice a week for uh, a few months to three, four months. And he got he got better at gi. Now he doesn't even fucking do the gi. <laughs> if we just gave up. Do you that want... dude's been here for 15 years, man. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, he'd be a good guest to have on. Yeah, he he's he's seen the scene. He's he's seen this the jiu-jitsu scene here, like from like from day one, from day one, yeah. probably. Like, you, I heard you guys talk to uh, Matt Fujeki, right? Yeah, at the uh, this Dio summer gathering. Yeah, that guy too, man. That guy's an OG. Matt, uh, Kotani, EA. These dudes. When I got here, they were here, and I met, I met all three of them around the same time. I cycled on, yeah, I on jujitsu. Yeah, soon before you know it, man, you're just gonna be laying down puzzle mats. Oh, the dude. Kid. No, 100%. No. Bro, I've thought about that a lot years ago. <laughs> we need to baby proof the That's house. That's why we got the second room. That's why we moved to the other spot to get the second room for him and no bed, just mats. And my wife was like, yep. She knows. She knows. I'm going to make that kid a beast, dude. Oh, man. I'm gonna make, That's like my goal in life. <laughs> like, yeah. at first I was like, you're going to be ADCC champ. And then, I, then now I'm like, you're going to be CJI <laughs> champ. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, Yo, what do you think about this whole CGI? Dude, I'm in. I'm in. I'm all about Craig Jones, man. I love that dude. That yeah. dude's so cool. Um, I went to the gym he's a train at in uh, in um in Melbourne, Lachlan Giles gym at the absolute MMA. I went in January 2020, right before COVID. Um, and he wasn't there. <laughs> Craig was out out in America already. He had he was went to he was in New York. Uh, with John Danaher and them, he had joined them. I went down to Lachlan's gym. Lachlan Giles is cool, dude. Leg locks. Look at his stuff. If you want to learn, I'm I'm learning a lot of stuff from him. But yeah, he was a cool dude. I met some other black belts there. They're really cool. Uh, hung out with a couple of them. Um, but yeah, uh, I really like really like Craig Jones and like where he came from and stuff. And uh, I'm all about what he's doing, dude. That's great yeah. for the sport. I mean, it's a, it's all like, these fools. He, he, that dude trolls for days, man. You guys follow him on Instagram because if you don't, oh, bro, recently, the stuff he's been putting out he is, is hilarious. He, he, like, I think Homeboy got fired, right? He, 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 uh, he threatened to kill uh, Craig Jones and he like posted it up. He was like, bro, come on, man. He just put him on blast. Next thing you know, that dude is fired. He's not running ADC. He's not like working for dude, ADCC I, anymore. I think Craig is the most influential oh, person 100%, in the percent Hundred percent. I agree. He's, he's pure a, entertainment. Yeah, he's entertainment, but he's also like helping for at sure. the same time. Man, you want to be a professional athlete? Would you like to get paid? That's what's gonna you know build our sport. Um, you know, not like what I don't, know, I don't really like what Gordon Ryan's doing. He's fucking great, but the way he goes about everything else. Yeah, yeah. He's building a brand he's, and doing his own yeah, thing. Yeah, he's doing. Do your you thing. You'd be like, rich. You'd be a rich. Dick putting on a tournament where anyone can come and just the best man on that day. Yeah, you're gonna get come a and get money, a and everyone else is getting money times too. Times more than an ADCC champion, and everybody else that attends gets ten thousand and one dollars. Yeah, so see, at least you is, can cover your travel yeah, expenses, which cover you, some of your training, which, makes, like, which sure. is more than an ADCC champion makes. Yeah, exactly. That's why you do it. It's crazy, right? Man. He added that dollar. He added that dollar from his own bank account. But uh, who do you think's backing that? I don't know. But he you just, think one of these just, sheiks? Think about it. he just probably think about it. He. He just had to find someone to put up three million. You know, <laughs> is that easy? Hey, we're I looking mean, for three million someone, dong about, and non-perishable food items. There's people. Who, yeah, yeah. There's people who are interested in the growth of jujitsu around the world. He has the strongest presence. Oh, you know, 100%. most people in jujitsu are more introverted. 
you know, so that means they're just going to stick Weird. to their own gym, right? I mean, it's just it's just the truth. So no, yeah. now you have a personality like Craig Jones. You can talk to anyone who has who's he has a proven record. He's you know been around. Can talk to people. He's doing all this charity. Yeah, and he yeah, found someone who can put up three million. I think it's Zuckerberg. <laughs> Look at your face, there. He yeah. has a lot of money, and oh, he's... wait a second, because they, because they were they were Volk, in the same right? yeah. as Volk. That's why I'm saying this. That's why I'm oh, saying this. Of course, it. breaking news. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, sorry, let the cat out of the bag, guys. Sorry. Yeah, it was me. Sorry. This, oh. this, dude, this is where the people get their news, man. <laughs> Did you see when he went on Joe Rogan? He dumped out that pile of yeah. million dollars, and then Joe was like. I don't think I've ever seen. I was like, you lie like a motherfucker, <laughs> Joe. You lie like a motherfucker. You good, didn't he? Joe is so good, isn't he? He's a great actor. He's like, about, oh, never seen it in cash. The, this strategy is absolutely brilliant that Craig Jones is doing. Oh, he has built this, 100%. this this whole presence over the last few years, right? And he and didn't even win. He Gold. got second place. He built a brand <laughs> off of being second place, right? And, and then think about this. He's doing the CGI at the Thomas and Mac, which is where ADCC was last year. ADCC this year is at the T-Mobile Arena, where like the last UFC was. That's how big it is. And then he announces it just a few months before. It takes all the big players, dude, and then it's going to be packed. CGI is going to be packed, and then the T-Mobile at ADCC is going to look empty. It's absolutely brilliant plan. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna bring. You got a lot of guys that. To- just jump ship and not like shitty guys like world champions yeah. jump ship even victor victor hugo, victor hugo. and yeah. that's that's the guy who gave gordon probably the toughest time in the last three or four years no yeah like, for sure why would you not want life-changing money exactly right or like, just to get 10 g's just to show up i'm like oh, fuck it i'll do it nah. yeah a lot of guys are scared because uh they think they're gonna have to do trials for the like not get an invitation anymore, you know. Like uh, certain guys that are good, they get an invitation. They don't even have to do the trials for ADCC. Yeah. So they skip all that. But um, like J Rod was saying something like, "Oh, dude, if I go over there to CJI, I'm gonna have to do trials for the rest of my life." So I don't know if he's gonna go, but a lot of guys are so going. J Rod did get an invite. I think. I think J Rod. I think so. I think he got an invite. That you will now. <laughs> Yeah, I know. They might have a few spots opened up. Yeah, no, it's going to be moved. And it's free on YouTube. Yeah. That's fucking dope. Now, everybody can see it. The more exposure, the better for jujitsu to grow the community even more, man. Right. And uh, a lot of Vietnamese guys are like watching these guys, like, oh, Nikki Ryan's my favorite. Or, you know, they're trying to emulate the, their games, their styles, and stuff. And, and it's what's going to happen is and it's great what you're doing with what you guys, everybody's helping V out, right? Like, yeah. uh, because like some of these guys, they don't grow up with a lot of money and they just got to work these jobs for the rest of their lives. But if you can fucking find a sport like jujitsu, like get it out. And then now there's more money out there for it. And that's so, a new path, man, that you never had before. So, so how could we, you know, as as the one who named Saigon Super Fights. Uh, it wasn't that difficult. But, but it, uh <laughs> Like Paul is such an influence, he speaks words and these things happen. As soon as his words, Saigon Super Fight. No, we were were sitting down and him and Rob were talking. I'm like, dude, why don't you just name it Saigon Super Super Fight? And they're like, what? That's amazing. I was like, where's it going to be? What is is it? it? Super Fight. No, but yeah, you're right. But but think about this. How could we do this, this CGI on a much smaller scale in Vietnam that could grow? Dude, we could do sport. two million cash prize. Two, oh, that that yeah, easy, easy two million cash prize. Yeah, and that's a lot. Like, yeah, we could do lot. we could do two million, and, and we um, could... I mean, find we need to find sponsors. Hey, yeah, we need like one sponsor. I mean, you guys easy. are doing a great job. This doing this itself, fucking amazing. This has never been here before. So yeah. doing this podcast and uh, letting people know, and people internationally are hearing us out. Maybe they're gonna be like, "Oh, come out to Vietnam," because we have really good jujitsu. Like we people are surprised. People are like, "Man, you guys." Liam today, when I was chatting with him, he goes, "Man, you guys are really good out here." And I was like, "Yeah, man," because well, fuck, it's hot. I got nothing else to do. Here's what we do: put a bracket. If you uh, show up and uh, want to compete, twenty thousand payout. 
if you win the whole thing, two million. Twenty twenty K just to show up? Yeah, twenty K. Okay, who's gonna back that? So how could we so uh, you gotta talk to find some sponsors, talk to some head people around here. I don't know. Ooh. Mr. Ba. Uh, just one person. I mean, there's other people. I you think know, that you Mr. Ba does if he provides the venue, that's more than enough. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but, find a venue. Who could we get? We've got power bites who will who have offered to provide one free power bite packet to all the competitors. What mm -hmm. about to co-host of the podcast? What these power bites? I keep hearing about these power bites. Yeah, what, what, yeah. Give it do you have bite. one? I don't have any power bites. Yeah, I saw you like I had like two it, power bites. I saw it on a reel. I saw it on a reel. I was like, what the fuck is this power? let me try no, this. Uh, Where are we getting good. them from? So there's <laughs> no one's getting them. They just, just no, they don't yeah, exist. Oh, well, Brian, I just keep get, hearing about Brian it. Brian has given us two or three, but we've already eaten all of them. And oh, Brian basically he makes these homemade. Oh, he makes them homemade. Makes them homemade. Are they, homemade. Them homemade. Are they, are they homemade. special? They just they're just not any. They are special. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. They are special. Count and me no in, sugar bro. Preservatives. If you watch the la the latest commercial, I saw the commercial, but I just heard you say power bites, and I'm like, I want one of those. The okay, strong name. Get, we gotta get uh okay, Brian's well, we, part Brian's part of the planning community of the Saigon yeah. Superfights too. He needs to provide the power. He was well, he was actually at the Saigon Superfights one. He had the little table set up. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm if I see his face and I recognize him, I'm not good with names. No, it's okay. Uh but but yeah, I I think power bites is really good. Okay, have, uh, him, have him come through, bro. Okay, well, I'm gonna get. Are they putting more. money up? So, uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't they, know. Brian, will you? Will you hook it up, us? bro? I know you're trying to say he's power. not giving us any power bites. I know you just want to do a cash donation. I know. Yeah, so there you go. Like it's the only yeah. thing that makes yeah, sense yeah. at this point. Yeah, he's probably making tons of money off his brand. You know, they just started a few weeks ago. <laughs> no <laughs> shit. He probably, probably wants to sponsor the Saigon Saga and Saigon yeah, Super. Right. Right. That's probably what he's just waiting on us to ask him. It's probably bro. What it is. Ask him right now, Brian. Sponsor us. Hook it up with those power bites, son. <laughs> okay, so we get. Saigon, Sa no, Saigon Super Fights, part two, but, part two. Yeah, part two with the Roman numeral. Dude, Roman, yes, my motherfucking man. Because if you do it like that, that looks dope. Good thing we got him here. No, but That's why we brought you on, just for naming. Think about Might this. Be a man. Think about this. Saigon Super Fights, it's a two to three hour event, tops. You can enjoy the rest of your day. Dude. It, it's one mat. It's We have an ADCC ref, Rob Deagle. Uh, mm -hmm. We we built Bro, this up. It was you get you automatic that you don't have to you don't have to pay anything to get in, and you're going to get free power bites and some other some a, another grab Wait, free bag. power bites. We're getting free yeah, power you bites. Get, you get free power bites. Everyone's you getting free got, power bites. You already got confirmation on this. Yes, oh, Brian. Said, everybody gets all the competitors get free power bites. Oh, the competitors. Here's the thing. Yeah, now he clarifies. What That's about fine. the the host? I'm sure he'll throw him in. I don't want to put him on the spot, <laughs> but I'm sure he will. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure well, when is the next okay, Saigon listen, Super Fights? Bro. Brainstorm with me, guys. Okay, okay. 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 Just, brainstorm with me. Try to be serious, Adam, for once. In your I life. seriously want some power bites. Jesus bites. Christ, man. I okay. concur. Where you get, <laughs> I concur. What, what other types of sponsors <laughs> can we get or people who provide, like, whatever Something. in this grab, grab um, bag? Like, uh, who? Ooh. I don't know. Maybe a like a piece shop. Of gear? Let's hit up a fuss shop. Uh, yeah, like Adam's faith. I don't know if they have the margins to be putting money yeah. out into no, 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 like uh, oh, like a hustle, like, like, yeah, or like, like some like twenty four, one yeah. of those big chains. Ah, yeah, ones. that'd be nice. Or you could hit up one of the spots in Taoyuan, like a like a, a restaurant, yeah. a restaurant, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Uh, oh, so, I know a guy. Really? Yeah, you've been here nine years. I hope you know some guys. <laughs> I don't know one guy. I know a guy. Okay. Even like a cafe or something if they want to do some like vouchers. Yeah. I know. I have he... a buddy, Matt Ryan. He owns uh, Union Jacks. Have you guys ever? The ships, way that Vince described it to me was like, all right, if you got two two practices and you went to Raymond's, then you want to go to Union <laughs> Jacks. Yo, when he explains <laughs> shit, I, that guy has me dying. And he's just like, he's just like, I'm not shalant about it. Looking yeah. cool as fuck with his glasses. Yo, when he rolls up to an open mat, no one looks cooler than that motherfucker. Dude, he's so fly. Man. I get a little jealous. I'm like, Fuck, I, I want to buy those pants, bro. I look at his pants. Yeah, he's he got so nice fly. pants, man. Actually, uh, I'm going to have him. 
I told him I was like, dude, I'm gonna I need to get I'm gonna get a tailored suit and I need you to come with me. You're gonna tell yeah. me you're gonna pick everything out for me. He was just like, I don't even think he heard me. <laughs> I don't even think he wants to come. Oh man. <laughs> but that's what is that's my plan. That's my plan. Yeah. So then we get so you get uh you don't have to some pay. restaurant people you get some you get some you get some free power bites you get some vouchers to pho shops or cafes or whatever or anywhere yeah you yeah, get yeah. a you get 20k maybe 50k for, for 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 just showing up think about this just showing up when you normally have to pay 400k at the other tournaments that are popular here in saigon and yeah. you get a prize when you win and you're done and you're done by 1 p.m yeah you earn twenty thousand just to compete yeah CGI. Two, that's that, that's that Craig Jones shit. Two million. Dude, if you win, can absolutely Dude, do this. That, man. Yeah. But, but I mean, look how fat, in 24 yeah. hours we raised seven million mm. uh, for V. Damn. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. The Damn. So what does that mean? The community comes together for oh, things like yeah. this. Right? Especially this. And the question is who who in the background who has money cares about the the growth of jujitsu? There are people who who got to put find money. The, the, these tournaments that like are in Vivo City and all these, yeah. right? In these malls that are, there's backers behind these. And yeah. I've, I've spoken to at least one of them. And they said that it's like 250 million to put one of these on. 250, 250 million. million. Right? 250 million. So who's going who's gonna to do that for us? I don't think we, we got to find that no, person. We don't need that much. Yeah, we don't. And this time I want to help you guys out. Last time I couldn't. I was... No, but dude. Dude, it's cool, man. Cause I feel like I I want to help out, dude. This you guys are doing a great great job out here, man. Dude, it's dope. Uh, it's dope. Any help? Don't that stop. You can, you can provide. We know you're busy, man. You have a family. You, yeah, boy. We get it. But as he's and when he gets older, or as he's getting older, he's gonna be coming around to the open mats. Man, this is gonna be so cool. Got to start that little fool off somewhere. <laughs> it's cool to know that like guys like you and Corey. Uh, are going to be around for the next few years in vents, you, you know, because yeah. it makes it such an easier decision to stay here as I go on. Yeah, man. I met a lot of people that come by and they're just like, oh, man, you guys are so, like, cool. It's chill here, the community. I'm like, yeah, man, we just, because a lot of us have been here for a few years already, right? And uh, we're friends and we've trained together and we just built that community slowly. But uh, it's all, yeah, I'm just excited for it, man. Just excited for it. And this, this, what you guys are doing here, is helping it grow so much. I saw the one with uh, Simon. Simon's fucking funny, dude. Yeah. dude Simon's, I, Simon's a he's funny the cat. voice. But, but here's another the here's voice. Another voice. I know that you have ideas. Um, I think one cool thing that we've discovered with the Saigon Saga is mm -hmm. we are revealing talents that people didn't realize they had that can contribute to the growth of the grappling community in Vietnam. And, right. I, and Simon is one of the best examples. Before before we did, before he came on the episode, he was so nervous. He's like, I can't speak on camera. I can't speak on camera. I can't speak on camera. And then he did the, the uh, he was the commentator. Yeah. And Saigon, the, Saigon 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 Saigon. He did a great job. Man, because he, he can speak Vietnamese and English and he's funny. I don't know if he can speak English, but <laughs> I don't know if he's funny, but <laughs> nah. Yeah, but you see what I'm saying, dude. though. Like, no, no, this is sure. this is how we reveal talents. Uh, to putting people on the spot, <laughs> Put yeah, people, putting people on exactly where they don't want to be. They go sit over there, Paul, hot chair. I was like, fuck. You know what we need to do? We need to create good content of us having these conversations, and then, uh, and then Saigon Super Fights one and make it exciting. And and people need to understand that. Hey, this is a two to three hour event. It's exciting. Every moment it's exciting. It's for the spectators, it's for the competitors. Competitors make money just by showing up. It's an opportunity for all of these sponsors and power bites and all these organizations in Saigon to come together and help grow the community, right? And to 100%. raise money for but here's the thing. We raise money not only for V to get to Malaysia, right? But if we can get Saigon Super more. Fights big enough and there's enough international attention, people from the Philippines, Thailand, to to Malaysia to are going to come here, right? They're going to come here. We get them a, a slot to Saigon Super Fights, and then the Vietnamese can have international exposure without having to leave Saigon. That's, bro, you already you planned this already. What do you think about this? I'll do it. I'm in. We got, we can, we 100% we can do this. 100%. We already have the venue, 
right? We already have excitement. Everyone wants to uh, sign on Super and Fight, the podcast right? is growing. And dude, the podcast is growing. We've been or, or, uh, building relationships with all these gyms in Indonesia, in Malaysia. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? I don't know that. The reason why this part of the <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, who listen? Like who? What countries? No, I just people listen. To? But but most of our most of this is done on Instagram, right? Yeah. And and we've gone to and visited these gyms, right? And and they all say, hey, we want to go visit the Saigon Grappling community. So let's organize a date. And they're like, hey, you want to super fight while you're here? Ah. Right? Like ADCC Malaysia. Behind the ADCC Malaysia, they have all these gyms. Dude, that one is the art of submission. Idea. Vince knows them. Vince, oh, Vince knows art, people. the people. Uh, we went to, uh, we went to uh, Art of Submission um, this past <laughs> weekend. Art of Submission. You got the art? In Malaysia, you get taught the art. I love Asia. gym dude. names, dude. Your names are hilarious. Dude, they were, uh, dude, they're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, a lot of these places you go monarchy, to, man, these, monarchy these are really cool. We, we, we went to uh, Monarchy as well. well okay. I, I so, went to a gym out in Malaysia in uh, KL called, Lev was it Leverage? Yeah, there's a Leverage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I met some really cool dudes. Some dudes, uh, they came out here to, um, to train a couple times. Yeah, They're really cool dudes, man. Yeah, Malaysia has a good scene. <clears throat> Malaysia is like maybe like uh, five years ahead in the scene. In maybe? terms of what, bro? In the scene of like doing jujitsu, there's more people. Uh, though. I mean, I don't know how big was it when you guys when you, that was the first one ever held there, right? That's oh, the first. Dude, yeah, I heard you they, say they got 250 registrations for both tournaments, or 230. ASJJF on ASJJF. Saturday, they had like 230, about the same for ADCC. It was huge, man. Was it the same exact people? Huh? The same I exact think people like, fuck out. The same organization. Because like, you guys did it. You and same. V did it, right? Vince did it. It wasn't the same people. No, I know, but I'm saying that'd be funny if it wasn't the same people. It wasn't they just all the same people. I did have to wrestle one guy in Gi and no Gi. <clears throat> oh. A guy from Monarchy. And he's a wrestling okay. coach, too. All right. Yeah. Dude, you smashed. No, I don't know, man. Dude, no, dude, you smashed. Or the highlights are just lying to me. But it looked like you smashed. There's so much more. I saw the highlights. I was like, damn, this dude just went in there. This fool was, I heard that you were smashing fools and then running to go interview people and smashing fools and running to go. Somebody told me that on Saturday. I was like, yeah. what is wrong with that dude? How does and he do that? He just came back. I won all these medals. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> How many matches did you have on Saturday? Or on, uh, Sunday? I had, uh, 11. 11 matches. Yeah. 11 matches? In how many day. medals? Six. No, I had 14 matches total. Three in Gi and, 14 and matches 11 total. in no Gi. 14 matches. This was just Look at all the medals I got. Oh, I, I had three, three goals. And I did a podcast while I was smashing. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> it's like, and had people talk talking. about it. Dude, yeah. Somebody told me. I was like, wow. Impressive. Oh, impressive. Thanks, man. And where the fuck was Adam? Adam oh, chilling, man. man. Dude, like, you were open mat with me. Because yeah, I asked you, I was like, I'm on, why don't you go? He was like, dude, I don't want to leave here. I love it here, man. Hey, mate. You're going to miss it when you go. Bro. Can't leave the cafes. Can't leave the coffee. But dude, the, the next, smoothie shop and but the food. The, a lot of this is, um, it helps promote Team Vietnam, man. And oh how, yeah, and, that's how and, that's and how, how I like you're doing a lot. Vietnam, I like that you're doing that a lot. We go there, and and this is this can help the community come together because now, dude, in Thailand, you know, yeah, Hip and I have to wrestle sometimes, and yeah. in one match, I'm going against Hip, and literally the next match, he's in my corner as my coach, <laughs> and he's tuned in. He's you know, yeah, you guys know, always though, go at it. You, you guys are always competing. I know. Do you know what happened with Hip this time? No, what happened? He signed up for the pro division. <laughs> he did do pro. It was so Zach pro was debut. telling me all about the, oh, yeah, we're going to go against each other. This is my rivalry. Oh, and oh, then, oh, yeah, he's younger. Yeah, he's younger. He's like yeah, 27. 27? I don't remember. He's, he's, he's 26. Old, I met him back in, during COVID, I met him. So what are you going to do Kudu. for the next tournament? I'm definitely, I've already signed up pro. Oh, yeah, I heard you're doing I've pro. Up. He's <laughs> coming for Hip. Not coming for hip, dude. No, no, <laughs> oh. not. hip is way You're better. Starting than shit. I am. He's just way better than me, dude. He is hip way is better, hip. man. 
it's bro, not even hip, close, man. Like hit with my back and strangled me once. I'm like, oh, you bastard! That was good. He's good, dude. He's he latches onto the back. Damn, dude. he's insane at passing guard too. Dude, he got he's way better. I got he got way better. Yeah, he. But so I did does a lot so of bottle. Thankfully, moves. in uh, it's a suit pro to do absolute pro is in it's literally on another level. It's crazy. So. I don't know if I'll be doing absolute pro. Dude, you should do the trials. Dude, I just don't want to go back to America. Yeah. Damn, this way it's America. No, <laughs> it's just like I don't want to fly all the way there. And nah, it's, a, it's you know long, I mean? bro. It's, it's like a long thousands flight. of dollars. He's, Only he's they offer to go 10, do it. and one dollars just to do that, just to show Dude, up. Dude, they do, bro. They should invite <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even close get the, to being on that level. Get the show just exciting enough that I'd be happy to just have you out there. Exactly. Yeah. That's what this is all about, dude. They'll get you a match. There you go. This is what it's about. So, I just want to go to see. I just yo, want to Craig, be invited to Craig, CGI. invite this fool Zach. He is down. He if wants that $10,001. Dude, if, fu- if we are funny enough, I think he would do, do it. Yeah. I'm not going to ever be as good good enough to get to CGI. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I'm not going to ever might, be funny. But I, might, <laughs> but I might be funny enough with y'all's help. With, <laughs> with y'all. We support you. That's why you're here, Paul. That's really why this is really why we do I, this. I support you. You're just part of the punch. <laughs> I'm me. not going to be funny enough, but maybe I can you find that other person. People. I'll make some videos. Okay. I'm going to make okay. you famous. No, don't and do that. We're building a star right now. <laughs> I'm out. Maybe you could get invited to CJI. No, bro. Do you, but you know, bro, but bro, it's my funny. knees. Bro, I'm doing bad. Look at me. <laughs> Dude, but th- to think about I'm this. not doing great, Craig, man. Dude, Craig's approach is so different. He has. He has a match for entertainment. Him against Gabby, dude, that's gonna be funny. You know that it's that's yeah, not. I'm a looking forward to match. watching that big time. It's on YouTube, and I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he, let's say he lost the match. He would probably do it on purpose just to get more views. Oh, dude, if he loses, he, I think I think they they made a bet something like, oh, if you lose, you got to get my name tattooed on you, or and vice versa. Really? I think they did something like that. Yeah. But she also is getting she's getting some type of money too. He is so brilliant, man. He's dude. just making it entertaining. Yeah, he's basically dude. growing usually by being funny. Just being he's being Australian. That's it. <laughs> he's being Australian. A lot of Australians are just like that. They're just like cool like that. <sighs> what do you got, Adam? Anything? No, no. I try to talk. Zach just cuts me off every time. Damn, Zach. Dude, sorry about that. Okay, go, bro. You... The worst, I have to go watch it back in the editing, and then I'm just like, oh, yeah, uh, this oh. fu- You're like, the, yeah, and uh, the whole time. Uh, now uh, I don't uh, mind, but then after I'm just, all right. Sorry, go. sorry about that. It, it wasn't, it wasn't intentional. I don't, it wasn't. Give him the quick, he gets too excited. I just get a little excited sometimes. <laughs> my friends are here. My friends I are like over. it, bro. I like the excitement. You got a good vibe right here. You're doing it, bro. You're doing oh, it. Yeah. Oh, you should see this guy when he's drinking a lot of coffee, dude. He's a machine. Did the machine. That's how he did the 14 matches. I know exactly how he did it, dude. It was a dude. Colombian coffee. <laughs> he was training there. Trained with the best. The best no, of the I blue just, belt. Yeah. The worst of the black belt. I, I, I got the trick from Mirko. Gigi with a Y. Gijo. Gijo. I'm telling Gijo you. with a Y. You know how bad Gijo is, man. I'm telling you. With this guy. Do Yeah. Dude, Tom took a see. We can bring dudes like that. See, that's is what we need to do. What's we that? know just get these guys out here. Get these guys that we know from all over the uh, world. Gijo, I know a bunch of dudes. Fight. You know what Gijo? Now the thing about it, did say he wanted to come to Vietnam. Dude. Gijo, if you're listening, Gijo, this is your invitation. Gijo, bro, come through. To son. come we and visit you. the Saigon grappling community. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Zach got your back. Can you give us a uh, a shout out to the Hispanic grappling community. Come through, Does bro. Does he speak English? Yeah. Hey. Oh, okay. English. Then you don't. Oh, he it. got his block up from Cabrina. Oh, damn, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. Tell him to from, come down here, because he the more people Cabrina. come down here, the more like popular. Like Rob, by Rob coming down here, it's been a big help Southeast Asia. Yes, it has for sure. People, uh, that one German dude that told you that came through to yeah. OU and like smashed everybody. He was like, "Oh yeah, Rob comes here, right?" He was. I saw it on Instagram, and yeah. I think that's why he went to go. So he went to over under. Dude, and I was like, oh, so bro, good. that's good. But Corey's been telling me that a lot of, you know, higher, higher uh, black boss been coming through. But yeah, definitely his presence has helped a lot. So if we keep on doing things like that, bringing 
uh, high level guys like Rob. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna have a sick Saigon super fight. Yeah, we uh, can get black Roman we numeral need black five belts. We need black belts in Saigon super fights. No, we need black belts. We need just but, international but people. International people from like international people, from, people from, to from these like, small Vietnamese gyms that have no access. Yeah, to black belt coaches, we're gonna get them there too to get exposure to those guys for sure, dude. That no, that will help a lot. It's, Is we want to build a show? Like we don't want to just build couple of guys coming to a tournament like it's got to be exciting yeah 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 ah because how do you compete with the highest level of these tournaments like obviously we don't have the same level guys at cji we don't yeah. have the same guys from adcc so like how do you get people interested in watching the level oh. doesn't have to be the absolute highest as long as the matches are exciting so right it's yeah. just, that's true what should be the bonus for a submission at Saigon so super fights dang what should be a bonus how much money like so I got like uh, uh how much money? Well, how much money is it doesn't have to be money. Okay. We could just get something tight. Here's a certificate. <laughs> Think about it. If we if we offered five hundred K or a one million bonus. Well, how much is how much is if, if you win everything? All right. So we gotta talk about this a little bit. There's yeah, there's super fights mm -hmm. and then there's the tournament. This time there's only one tournament and it was sixty six KG four man bracket. Yeah. Right. So, sh should we have two brackets, 66 and 77, eight you man should brackets? Do just like each. CJI, right? He's having two brackets. He goes above 80, below 80. Just by weight. Oh my God. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we but, just built it. I don't we know. We have the number has to can't be 80, though. Oh, it's no. Be lower. Yeah. But I think that is going to be. No, what I, are we doing? 52? 56? There, there, would be no, there would be no one in above 80. Like, yeah. Uh, no, there's some be people above 80. Beating me, not beating me, but I think I think 66, 77. Okay, yeah, 66, 77 is good. Above 77, we have a super fight for 100 kg. We have a couple of those super fights. We have then, like 11 super fights in two tournaments. Or, 11 super or, fights. Jesus, you know, well, this is not going to be two to three hours, bro. You know, it, last time it was eight super fights plus. Three matches in in the one term. So it was eleven matches total. It took exactly two hours, dude. It was perfect. I was left at the time. I was like, oh man. I told my wife it's gonna end at twelve. And then I'm coming. I was like, this shit ain't gonna end at twelve because I've never been to a competition or anything that ended exactly where it said and this. This one, it's if I mean, it's probably gonna get bigger because people already went to the first one. They're like, oh, the first one was cool. So next time, this is what we'll do. We need to improve the sound, the the speaker. Yeah. So I. Th can, they can solve partly with an extension cord. So we just take it and. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how it, are we get an extension? How are we going to get funding? Speaker, bro. You need a good speaker. That speaker is going to raise. I was like, oh my god, dude! Someone's ears are going to pop. Okay. But yeah, that's true. But the thing is, uh, it was because the distance between the microphone and the speaker. Yeah. And we were kept walking past it. We need to at least put that in the middle to where it would be clear. That's when that's where this extension cord comes in. But <laughs> could have easily been fixed. But think about this. We had we had amazing sound. That's like I hope. Like, but but where would it take though? That's a better speaker. And there, literally just le one? less extension cords. How do we can get one? How do we get how do we get one of these, Paul. Power bites. Hit, hit those you, someone Power has bites one. It's a classic it. home like a karaoke someone speaker. Has, yeah, someone, someone has, has one. one. I don't have. You just one. need to find out who's. But who bro, how much do they cost? The Q's gotta have one. No, no, dude, <laughs> he doesn't have one, dude. No, wait a second. We're asking right now, the three of us. We're we're asking the community to come together and provide a speaker. <laughs> For Saigon Super Fights, too. Bro, they're probably super cheap, and you fools don't want to buy one. I guarantee hey, you someone has one, and they, 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 they probably it. got one they think about getting rid of. Yo, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I want to get rid of my karaoke machine. Probably, dude. <laughs> really, you dude, open it? Dude, minimalism is on the rise. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, bro. Well, it's on the rise. <laughs> so, all right, karaoke machine. Step one. Step one what? That's a karaoke machine. What other improvements? Yeah. Okay. We, we just need Wi-Fi. He we knows. Need, we need Wi-Fi. Super high. 
Wi-Fi to get a good stream going. So it's a high quality stream people can watch. Oh, he didn't have Wi-Fi last time? He didn't give you the Wi-Fi? There's no, Wi-Fi. He did, but the Wi-Fi is <clears throat> not good at all. So we have good quality video, but the live stream quality is terrible. Uh, it says it's like 1080, but it's the signal is not good enough to carry yeah. it live. Also, it sounds real. Uh, bro. Nothing but good ideas right now. Okay, so we think about I mean, okay, write uh, it down. extension cord number one. Okay, if we get that, the rest are just like keep, complimentary. Keep extension cord. Keep laminate and change. Right. So, so we or improvements. We'll keep hip. What do you guys think about Simon? I don't know about Simon, man. I don't know, man. He's got the dual language thing, but he still doesn't have me convinced on English. And he and. But he's a lady killer, so let's keep him around. All right. I like his, right. Little, uh, yeah. his rat tail. What does he got yeah. going? Yeah, the little mullet. mullet. Yeah, the mullet. Yeah, I like it. But if he oh, cuts that, bro. we'll have oh, to start talking about uh, cutting his benefits. Them. We're going to keep him. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, keep yeah. him. Simon and Hip, we need – those are two uh, non-negotiables. We need these guys, man. For sure. Without uh, question. Definitely they're, they're, Rob. They make the show, man. Yeah. Definitely need Rob. Yep. We're going to keep Rob. And if, Possibly uh, another referee. Yeah. What else? Uh, phot the photographer. Who's the photographer? Uh, <laughs> Who's the photographer, Zach? Are great, you going to uh, fly her in? Chief, Chief Great Taste uh, uh -huh. provided the photographer last time. Okay. And the drop, backdrop. Oh, yes. And I think he made will it, do it again. It, like legitimate. Like this is a Dude. real event. Yeah, that was a dope backdrop. Everybody was like, oh, shit, backdrop. Let's go take a picture. It's exciting. Yeah, no, it is. It's I changed like it. the game. I have a dope uh, picture. Now, do you know what's next though, Zach? What's that? Oh, what? If you're bringing a backdrop, oh, you should have the event name on there. Like someone can sponsor the backdrop. Oh, they yeah. provide the backdrop. Oh, okay, and they can put their branding all Side over on it. Superfice too. Who is willing? And who would like to have their symbol, their logo on the backdrop? Yeah, we're asking right now, guys. Yeah, well, want to help out? Dude, if this is, if, let's say, someone asks you, do you just say, yeah, man? And, and they're like, yeah, we're getting some really cool events. Oh, like what? Dude, this new Saigon Super Fights thing is the most exciting grappling promotion in Vietnam. Two hours nonstop. Amazing. He's like, yeah. Yeah, like man. Hey, you know what? I got an in on a, uh, on a place on, on a backdrop. <laughs> okay. We'll give you... We're going to give you a first dibs on that. We'll give you a good deal, too. All right, all right. There's all only right. one slot left. And actually, the public doesn't know about it yet. Think about that. Dude, you're selling me. I want to give you money. <laughs> Take my money. Exactly. Dude, that was good. That was good. All Dude. right, well, you got it. I'm in. Cool, What do you man. think? Awesome. What do you think, Adam? You in? Yeah, it's perfect, man. All right, you got to come back, though. Don't just leave, bro. I'll be you back. in Canada. Come back. Back, Dude, back for the snacks. Aren't we uh, lucky to have Adam here, man? 100%. 100%. Dude, if it wasn't, it was not for Adam. The Saigon uh, saga wouldn't exist. Saigon Super. None, nothing that has come from the saga would exist without this guy. Really? This guy is incredible. Yes. Really? This guy is incredible, man. We're making it happen together. We're and, doing a lot of things. He really, he really. No, you guys are all. Dude, I remember the day. The, uh, doing a good job. That, that, we, that we started, man. Yeah. When, when did you guys start this? January a few months ago, right? January this year. 27th. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, damn. We were eating fall. And yeah, like we got to start the podcast. We got to start the podcast. I don't even know why we wanted to. And then he said, if we're going to do it, we got to do it right now. Just open the computer. He's like, you uh -oh. got your computer with you? And I was like, yeah. We went straight there, opened, talked for 38 minutes and published it. Nice, dude. If, what happens if you put the camera on and you just... You're like, nah, this isn't gonna work between us. You don't nope. have chemistry with the, yeah. with the guy, right? You're gonna be talking to this guy forever. Like, you gotta fucking put up with him. So <laughs> this fucking guy. So, and after that, he was like, okay, it's possible. And now you guys got these lights. Yeah, now we got lights. We got camera, and we're just praying for action. Yeah, we have we have uh, people who love being on it. Great guests. Yeah, like, man, like you're Alex getting some came good. the other day, man. Oh yeah, I saw. Dude, when is that? Is he hasn't came out yet, right? Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Your, epi your episode will be oh, don't, two don't weeks Don't post this. <laughs> no, nah, it is okay. We'll, we'll let you watch it before we post it. All right, all right. Think about this. Th this is another purpose behind the Saigon Saga is we want people in America and Australia and Europe to watch it. And be like, oh, man, yeah, dude, that Paul guy. That guy. He's so cool, man. <laughs> Please don't say, say that. You, whoa, wait a second. Are you going to oh. Vietnam? Oh, you better stop by over-under. 
You got to see beat Paul. That Paul guy, you got to go see that. You got to beat guy. Paul guy. And Vince, <laughs> you know, Vince, oh man. You know, dude, did you go down to Arcane? Yeah, man, I'm that Pato. You know, this is what we want. Oh, right? you guys have Pato on here. For sure, man. Dude. Yeah, for, all right. Yeah, 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 for sure. Paul, for sure. thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, guys. Uh, thanks. Uh, shout out to everybody, all, everybody at OU, at Arcane, Shark um everybody the whole community all right gotta go my wife's gonna kick my ass oh my god subscribe to the saigon saga to follow the amazing story of combat sports here in vietnam